Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at Elder Sign Gates of Arkham Expansion from Fantasy Flight Games. There's a whole bunch of cards in here. Looks like a pretty awesome addition to the game. Now you do need a copy of Elder Sign in order to get any use out of this, but let's open it up and see what we've got in here. Alright, there's a lot packed in here. Here's our rules addendum. Yeah, it looks like it's about four pages. Not six pages. So as you can see, it's got some really nice art. Very colorful. It's just a big fold out. I don't like that. I would prefer something a little easier that's not going to rip. Uh, then there's easy, normal hard you know the usual stuff the different things that are in the box scenario stuff that sort of thing on the front it does have a nice inventory thing here so we're going to see some uh, cool stuff here so let's look at the this stuff first and we got our new investigator tokens and monster tokens so let's open this thing up and see how these look So, a little less glary. Uh, very nice quality car construction here. We got good cardboard uh, stock. There's the back of the monster cards, back of the investigator tokens. Pretty straightforward. Let's see if there's a parts number on here. Gates of Arkham PB1A. And then here's 2A. And we've got some portals, a couple of doom markers, some health things. Whatever these are, those are seal markers. And then here's the other side, which looks exactly like the other. So, all right, pretty cool. And we've got some stands. It's like we've got six standee stands, a big stack of cards, and another big stack of cards. Our insert in there's got cover picture. And nothing hiding underneath. Now remember, some of these have stuff underneath like dice or things like that. So be aware of that. Alright, so let me adjust the camera and we'll take a look at the cards. Okay, so we've got eight new investigator cards. So let's look at those first. As usual, this is the back of the card. And up first we've got Skids O'Toole, the ex-con. We've got Trish Scarborough, the spy. Patrice Hathaway, the violinist. William Yorick, the grave digger. William begins the game with one random monster trophy from the cup. At the start of his resolution phase, William may discard a monster trophy to add the red and yellow dice to his pool. That is pretty awesome. Then we've got Norman Withers, the astronomer. Once per day, when an otherworld card is successfully resolved, Norman may draw one spell. Tommy Muldoon, the rookie cop. Heroic sacrifice. Each time another investigator loses stamina, Tommy may lose any amount of that stamina instead. Each time he loses any amount of stamina in this way, he regains one sanity. Next we have Finn Edwards, the bootlegger. Akachi Anelli, the shaman, is our last one. Alright, there's some really good characters in here. Good additions to the game. So let's get those out of the way and take a look at our next stack here, which look like portal cards, or other world cards, whatever they're calling them in this game. 
Okay, so those are backed like this. We've got Lost in Space and Time. Investigators at this adventure skip their next movement phase. That's lovely. Then the Vaults of Zin. The Great Temple. Ancient Egypt. Far Side of the Moon. City of Gugs. That looks kind of rough. Ancient Sarnath. Also looks pretty tough. And lastly, Unknown Kadath. Alright, so these look pretty tough. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they, that looks pretty, pretty spectacularly rough. So let's get these out of the way. And we'll get on to our next cards. Alright, so here we've got our Ancient Ones cards. And we've got Yogg Sothoth. Then we've got Atlatch Nacha, the Web Between Worlds. And then we have, oh man, I don't know how to pronounce most of these. Geta and Otha. Yib still all seeing. And that's our new monster, new ancient ones, rather. So let's get those out of the way. We've got a Streets of Arkham card here. And on the back. And this says You may spend two trophies to do one of the following, then move to an Arkham adventure of your choice. Okay, first one is flip one face down Arkham Adventure face up. Then number two is discard one Arkham Adventure without a gate monster lock die or investigator and replace it with a new face down Arkham Adventure. And lastly, regain one stamina and sanity. Alright, so. Major spoiler alert now. As far as the storylines go, I'm going to show you the cards, and it's up to you if you want to read them or not. I don't think I'm going to read these because I don't want to ruin anything for anyone more than uh, is necessary. So there are a lot of giveaways in the next several minutes. If you want to skip ahead to the smaller cards, please do so at this time. Okay. That being said... Here we go. First up is St. Mary's Hospital. This is green. And we have last words. And gruesome autopsy. And emergency care. Then we're into the yellow cards for this adventure. Which are ye old magic shop. And on the back it says you may spend three trophies to gain one spell. And we have chants and incantations. Magical mishaps. And finally, lure of the unknown. Then we're on to the red cards, which are the woods. It says, at midnight, add one Doom token to the Doom track. And we've got the, the Coven. Moonshine by Moonlight. Lost in the Brambles. And that's all three of them for that scenario. Next up... We have uh, the Historical Society. You can spend four trophies to gain one skill. And these are the red cards for the scenario. I'm just doing them in the order they're in, in the stack for the most part. Uh, 
A Night in the Museum. Lessons from the Past. And Ancient Scripts. Alright, then we move to the yellow back cards, which are Ma's Boarding House. You may spend four trophies to gain an ally. And the first one is Room 13. A Terrified Guest. And Roughed Up. Alright, then we move to the greens, which are at South Church. You may regain one sanity. So first one here is Sanctification. Prayers for the Lost. And lastly, Chant with the Father. Chat with the Father. Ha! <laughs> Big difference. Okay. Third scenario. We are starting with the red deck. Black Cave. At midnight, each investigator loses one stamina. We have Altar in the Deep. Then Lost in the Dark. Faceless Terrors. And that's all three of those. Then we're at the Graveyard for Yellow. And at midnight, each investigator must discard one monster trophy. And the first one is Necromantic Rites. Next we have Open Graves. And then Grave Robbing. And that is all three of those. Then we are on to the green ones, which are General Store. You may spend two trophies to gain one common item. And we have Shipment from Innsmouth. Breaking and Entering. And finally, Wheeling and Dealing. And that's all three there. These card quality... Sorry, the card quality is really, really good on these. I'm very, very impressed with that. I think they're very nicely made cards. I'm very happy with the quality of the cards themselves. At least so far. Okay, the next one in red is the Curiosity Shop. You may spend three trophies to gain one unique item. There are three of these, of course. We have Curiosity Kills. We have the Psychic Skull. And then the Ornate Chest. And then we move on to the Train Station, which is the yellow. And you may spend... I'm sorry, you may uh, three symbols to gain one ally. I think that's movement of the clock. So we've got thing on the train. Abandoned crate. And lastly, late arrivals. Alright, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, the easy level is the newspaper. You may advance the clock to have an investigator of your choice gain one clue. And first up we have cryptic messages. Pursuing leads. And lastly, ink blots. Alright, that's that scenario. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, this one's a little different than the others. Alright, first up we have red, which is the unnameable. At midnight, each investigator loses one sanity. So first up we have thing in the basement. Throwing terror. And run for your lives. 
Then we are at the Unvisited Isle for yellow. And that is Stormy Crossing. Blood Sacrifice. And lastly, Standing Stones. And interestingly, there's no green here. There's just another yellow called River Docks. You may give one clue, unique item, common item, or trophy to another investigator. Uh, that's kind of cool. And the first one is Deep Ones Emerge. Prisoner of a Madman. And lastly, Death at the Docks. Alright, next scenario. We have the Witch House. At midnight, a gate opens. We have the Forbidden Library. Rats in the Walls. Strange Lights. Then we have the Yellow, which is Silver Twilight Lodge. You may spend three trophies to gain a Silver Twilight membership. We have Inner Sanctum. Private Meetings. And finally, initiations, Initiation into the Mysteries. All right, it does not look like there's any greens for that scenario, which is really interesting. So that might be a shorter one, but it looks pretty tough. All right, next up, we have Hibbs Roadhouse. You may spend three trophies to gain a Sheldon Gang membership. These are the red ones, so we've got Back Alley Battle. Dark Dealings, Police Raid, alright then we move to the Yellows which are Velma's Diner, you may regain one stamina, and first up we have Booth in the back, Late Night Visitor, that's a pretty neat little image there, a Warm Meal, Alright, then we move on to green, which is the police station. You may spend three trophies to return a monster to the Monster Cup. And we have cold case. Police assistance. And finally, arrested. Alright, that's the three for that scenario. Next one for red, we have Independence Square. At midnight, remove one Elder Sign from the Ancient One card if able. And we have Founder's Rock, Gypsy Curse, and a Play in the Park. All right. If we go back to mediums, which is yellow, Bank of Arkham. You may move the clock twice to take the bottom card of the Arkham Adventure deck as a trophy. Bank Robbery. Strange Heirloom. Financial Backers. Okay, that's the three for that. Then we've got green, which is Arkham Asylum. You may spend two trophies to fully regain your sanity. So we've got Mad Experiments. Imagery is pretty cool on that one. Uh, Ramblings of the Mad. And Psychiatric Assistance. 
Now the art on here is really fantastic for almost every single card. So I will give them really good credit for that. And our last scenario. Here's red. We have the University Library. You may advance the clock twice to gain one spell. And first up we have the Black Tome. Archaic Collection, and Exhaustive Research. And moving on to yellow, we have the Miskatonic Science Building. You may advance the clock to gain one clue token. So we have the Machine, Alien Dissection, and the lecture. And that moves us to university administration on easy. You may advance the clock three times to gain one skill. The dean. Foul faculty. And finally, registration day. Alright, so that's the last of the adventure cards. But to say the quality is still fantastic. And the art is spectacular as always. It's a lot of cards. So you get a lot of adventures out of here. Uh, let's look at the little cards and see what we've got there. So far this is looking like it's definitely going to be worth the money. Alright, so we've got a giant stack of these little cards. Let's start with the spell cards. Looks like there's only five of these. First up we have Evocation of Horus. Then we've got the Green Flame of Zulsha. These do have the symbol at the bottom. So if you want to know what set they're from, if you mix these in with your other cards, you'll be able to do that. It's like a little building or skyscraper or something. Then we have Seal Gate. Then next we have Conjuration. And lastly, Reach of the Mind. Alright, let's move on to our five common item cards. And these are, of course, the ones with the pistol on it. And we have Suitcase of Cash. Ooh, stop moving. The Flashlight. A Flare Gun. A Roadster. And lastly, Sheldon's Finest. Discard this card during your turn to gain a Sheldon Gang Membership. Alright. Next up, we have the five ally cards. We've got Kestrel Claire. When attempting to resolve an other world card, place one Sandy token on Kestrel Claire to add the yellow and red dice to your dice pool. When she gets three, you discard her, of course. Next up we have William Bain. Then Granny Orn. Karina Jones. When Karina Jones dro joins you, draw three skill cards, choose one, place on her and discard the rest. You may use the chosen skills if it were your own. Discard this card if you discard the skill card on it. And lastly, Calvin Wright. Alright, pretty good looking allies. Let's move on to our five unique item cards. First up we have the Prism of Vision, then we have T 
Ataka Halo. Then Hermetic Tex. The Silver Lance. After roll, discard to change one die to a skull result. You may use this item on any investigator's turn. And finally, the Sigil of the Order. Discard this card at any time to choose one investigator to gain the Silver Twilight Lodge membership. You may use this item on any investigator's turn. Now you'll notice a lot of these have exclamation points. So that might mean they're specific to an adventure or overpowered or something. I would be aware of that. Especially if you're buying this used. Alright, then we have eight membership cards for the Sheldon Gang. That's what the back looks like. On the other side are membership cards for the Order of the Silver Twilight Lodge. They all look basically the same. So that's what the cards look like. Let's see if I can get both of them on the screen here. Ah, uh, this is hard when it's upside down. Uh, so as usual on the one side there is the little symbol to tell you what set it's from but there's eight of these all right next up are these and these are 12 skill cards so let's see what we've got here. We've got Persuasive. Mystic Gift. Wanderlust. Scientific Training. Luck. Medical Training. Athleticism, Occult Knowledge, Business Savvy, Stealth, Bravery, and finally Psychology Training. Alright, so these look really cool because these add new abilities to the game and could be really fun to play with. All right, now we move on to our clock cards here. And there are 30 of these Mythos cards. So we've got Shattered Worlds as funds run dry. The Ancient One stirs and eight arrives. Humanity fights while time slips away. Stirring Darkness opens the way. A Noble Sacrifice opens the way. Man's Descent tempts fate. Common Ground tempts fate. Dark Packs Before the Storm. Sheldon's Assistance renders the Veil. Silver Twilight Aid Heralds the End. Emerging Creatures Bring Ruin. Emerging Creatures Reveal Dangerous Worlds. Out of Time Amid the Stillness. Shattered Worlds for a Dark Future. Strange Sights for a Dark Fate. Hungry Ether and Suffering. A Warning of Barred Ways. Dark Times Bring Entropy. Hungry Ether Leads to Dead Ends. Dark Portals Steal Memories Away. 
dark portals reveal terrifying worlds. Creatures from beyond incite violence. A dark purpose devours the unwary. A dark purpose in the inner sanctum. A dark purpose invokes madness. Shattered worlds herald the end. Strange sights herald the end. Creatures from beyond herald the end. Man struggles amid the stillness. And finally, the stars align while time slips away. So that's all of those. Next, we'll move on to the event cards. And they look like this on the back. And we have 25 event cards. So first up, we have Overwhelming Fear. Stolen Strength. Mysterious Opposition. Devil's Bargain. Secrets of the Lodge. Turf Wars. Fruitless Struggle. Stirring in Slumber. A Foolish Mistake. Hungry Creatures. Hungry Creatures. Unexpected Difficulties. I don't like it when they lock away a green die like that. It always hurts me. Unexpected Difficulties. Again. Unstable Location. Another Unstable Location. Unexpected Aid. Another Unexpected Aid. Rare Knowledge. Gain one clue or draw one spell. That's pretty nice. Lucky Find. Peace and Quiet. A Call for Aid. Stout Resolve. A Moment's Respite, Narrow Escape, and finally, Hot on the Trail. And that is all of the little cards. There's quite a few cards here. Uh, some of them look really, really good. Really going to add a lot to the game. I don't know about the Sheldon Gang and Twilight Lodge. I'll have to see how those play out. But overall, a lot of the new skill cards, um, the event cards, that sort of thing, look really, really good. Okay, so that's what's inside Gates of Arkham expansion for Elder Sign. There's a lot of really cool looking stuff in there. I think a lot of those cards are really, really going to add to the game, especially the uh, skill cards. Some of those event cards look pretty kind of terrible. So... Not in a bad way, just in the way that I'm um, just going to kill my characters more often. But Fantasy Flight does good stuff. This is another good addition to the game. It's from 2014. And I think it's going to be a pretty solid addition. If you've already got Elder Sign, I would definitely consider picking this up. There's a lot here, for so you get a good value for the dollar. And I think it'll have a lot of replay value. But that's just my take. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. We've seen what's inside, so it's time to go. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. And we hope to see you on the next one.